Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Johanu, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So since last time we beat the Angler's Tunnel, we beat the big creepy boss, and we got rid of that creepy ghost, and in this episode we're going to go to the Catfish's Maw. Uh, going to go to the telephone booth to find out what we got to do, though, because I honestly have no clue what to do, because I've kind of forgotten. It's kind of a shame, though, since uh, Catfish's Maw is one of my favorite dungeons in the entire game. How shameful of me. Don't judge me. So here's the telephone booth. And let's see what the old man's gotta say. What's up? Yes, it is wide open. Well, that's awesome, but... That, that doesn't tell me where it is. Oh yeah, the bay, and, and that might be referring to... Down here, which... Yes, over this way. Martha's Bay. So we gotta go over to Martha's Bay. Now, if only there were a way to get over there quickly without having to walk all that distance. Well, as you might recall, over here is Animal Village, and it's like right beside Martha's Bay. So, if you recall from a few episodes back, we've got a teleporter. Just one screen over, in fact. Yeah, right here. How awesome is that? Blue! Ah, oh, I, I didn't call it early enough. No, that's not the right one. That's a teleporter near the Angler's Tunnel, if you ever need a nice little quick teleport over to where you need to be. Alrighty. Through Animal Village, here we go. Hmm, me, while we're here, we've got some hibiscus, so let's trade the hibiscus over to the old, uh, old lady, old British lady. Why, yes, I did bring you hibiscus. A gentleman, yes, I'm very fancy. Yes, I'll listen to you. Mr. Wright. <laughs> I like that double meaning. Uh, I got a letter. I trade that Virgo to letter. Great. Awesome. And we'll do that, you know, as it comes. And there's Marin doing her thing. Oh, yeah, I need to go this way, don't I? I'm glad Marin's having fun entertaining the animals. Alright. Ah! I'm already getting hit by monsters. This is bad. Is there anything over here? Oh no. Uh, th just for reference, uh, there's a secret seashell somewhere around here. Just dig. Just so you all know, but I'm not going to be getting it. Because my sword's overpowered as it is. But, uh, yeah, he said the Catfish's Mall is a great place to dive, so let's just go in the water and dive somewhere. And hopefully not die, because that would really suck. That would suck ass. <laughs> if that happens. Alright, here we go. This kind of resembles, um... The Hyrule Waters. Here, here's a mermaid. Let's talk to the mermaid. The, the water kind of resembles, uh... Not like, the area, the topography resembles Link to the Past. Like, it kind of reminds me of that. When I was swimming in the bay, the waves took a very important necklace from around my neck. Did that necklace, uh, carefully cover your breasts? I don't know. Here we are, here's the catfish's maw, yes. That was quick, we didn't even have to do any quest or anything to get here. Yeah, you just dive right here and you're good. Press B to dive, in case you all don't know, I mean, if you're watch if you've watched it up to this point, you should you should be an expert in Zelda by now. Alright. And you all see why my this is my favorite dungeon of all time in a bit. One, the, uh, I don't know, I'm just, there's just something about it. Y you'll see soon enough, just, just trust me on this. I like the music, it's just like, dun, 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 you know, it's, it's like kind of, it's got this tension about it. Money, money that I need to spend soon. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, little bastard. You little bastard. I want to hit you from behind, but I can't be because you're moving around too much. I, oh my god, I'm about to die. Please don't kill me. I'm totally not Nintendo Capri Sun because I can't sing while I'm over a song. Yeah, no more of that. Well, I don't know. There might be in the future. Uh, hopefully I don't die. I got a compass. Fuck yeah. Uh, it has to explain it every time. I'm not even kidding. Now, this is my favorite game dungeon in the game. My second favorite is the seventh dungeon, which is the Eagle's Tower. 
And then my favorite after that is the face shrine, but you all- Ah, shit. Oh yeah, there's, there's kind of like a little pulley puzzle right here. You can just jump right over here and you're good. Yeah, there we go. The puzzles are self-explanatory. I don't really feel like I need to, to spend time just elaborating on it, you know? Slowly gaining health. Slowly gaining health and killing lots of skeletons. Hopefully I don't die in this dungeon the first time I find the mini-boss or anyone else that I want to find. I think you have to, like, push these in a straight line or something. Maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to push them in a perfect square. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you push these two blocks over and you're good. And you get a key. Fuck yeah. What do we have here? Just uh, looks like an ordinary room with a skull imprinted on it. Eh, better just disregard it and totally not remember it, huh? Now that we have a key, we can go to that door that we previously couldn't unlock. So let's go do that. Ah, I pressed the wrong button for the feather. L let me put. Let me switch it here. Sword on B, feather on A. Awesome. All right. Hit you from behind, nigga. There we go, the old jump and I like that trick, the old jump over them and strike behind you trick. That's a nice little little, little touch. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Is there anything over here before I go in there? Yeah. Oh look, a gap. Well, however will we get to that chest? I mean, you know, the Pegasus boots can only make us jump three spaces over. I mean, you know, let's give it a try. Let's let's see if we can jump this gap. Nope. <laughs> I'm terrible at the Pegasus boots today. Ah, damn it! See, even if I go my furthest and my furthest potential, it, it's not going to... So how am I going to do that? Well, I guess we'll have to find out. In the next episode... No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you guys. <laughs> uh, I could not pull... I could not pull that off. Doing one of those. Y'all wouldn't let me live it down, would you? Just, Just like what, five or six minutes of Zelda gameplay? Hell no. You'd kill me. Nah. I'm not gonna lead you on, viewers. I'm, I'm here for you for the full ride. Speaking of which, speaking of full rides, I'm thinking um, that this is gonna be the first LP that I finish, and then I'll finish my Final Fantasy one as I go, because there's an insane amount of grinding you gotta do to do a Red Mage solo. <laughs> And trust me, I have been grinding. I just grinded a bunch today. I got a beak, which is probably useless. Ah. I probably could have just not gone in that room, but I haven't memorized the order. Oh, free arrows. Awesome. I'm going to need those arrows later on, both for this dungeon and the next couple of dungeons that we're going to do. Okay, this is kind of hard, but... Oh, shit. Uh, you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, um, there's a much more efficient way to go across the chasm. Uh, I'm probably gonna die, aren't I? Shit. Ow. No. Well, shit. And that potion is gone from my inventory. Thank you, Crazy Tracy, for making my life 100% easier. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I am dying terribly. No. Why am I doing so badly? Shit. Well, there's there's no other way out of this, is there? Shit. Let's try this again. That potion turned out to be completely useless and I could have totally avoided that. Oh well. Round 2. Round two of Link doing stuff. Well, while we're at it, I guess we could read this owl here. And the skeleton's about to jump on me. If you can't destroy a skeleton with your sword, try using a bomb. Uh, it's probably referencing Stalfos, because in The Legend of Zelda, Stalfos Knights. But wherever could a Stalfos Knight be? Well, speak of the devil! Well, hey, what's up? Don't mind if I do, I'm just gonna, you know, drop a bomb on you, little bastard. Don't you ever mess with me, again. Go down, like the heathen you are. Suck it. 
That's right. Oh no, you don't. I gotcha. Just strike him and plant a bomb down. Make sure you don't hit his shield. That's what you do. Ugh, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. Damn right you can't beat me. I'm Link. Little bitch. Oh boy, we got some treasure here, but let's kill these enemies first before they do anything to us and, you know, potentially break these pots. Just in case there's, you know, hearts and bombs and stuff under them. I've got what was inside this box. Come and get it if you can. Master Skull. That... Was that him? That son of a bitch! He took our treasure! But whatever could that be? Find out in the next episode! I'm just kidding. <laughs> you really thought I was going to do that to you. No, I couldn't. And we have jumping fish in this dungeon. God, I love this. I love this dungeon. It's the best one. I, I mean, some people might disagree with me. Some people are like, Nah, Yohanu, the Eagle's Tower is the best dungeon. And yeah, it is. It has some of the best puzzles, but this one's just freaking awesome. We got a nice room here. Let's see what this owl says. Dive under where torchlight beams do cross. Ah, hmm. That, that, might, that might actually be interesting to keep in mind. You never know. Can we push this? Yes, we can. Do we have any keys? No, we do not have any keys. That dragon thing looks kind of creepy. And what's this over here? Looks like poison grass. I don't think it is, though. I don't think this game has poison grass. Looks like an ordinary passage to me. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Yeah, let's get these, these boxes. Ooh. Giving me some much-needed arrows. I really appreciate that game. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Is there any other enemies that... Shit, 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 shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, I dodged that. Just barely, but I dodged them. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think you can use magic powder on these guys, can't you? No, I don't want the. I don't want that. I don't want the. Yeah, there we go. Get a free bug. Bugging you is easy because you're buggable. Where have I not gone? No, that's not the map. <laughs> This is an Oracle of Ages. The map doesn't display. Okay, so we don't really have a dungeon map to speak of. I'm going to save those arrows for later because i got max arrows right now and I'm not going over there because that's a death wish. Well, shit. What do I do? Ow. Don't even. Just don't even. You are a stupid hoe and you are a stupid hoe. All of you are stupid hoes. <laughs> Stupid ho, stupid ho, stupid ho. Nicki Minaj disapproves. So many solved rooms, so little time. Oh yeah, we can go over this way. Yeah, that's right. And there isn't any reason to clear these rocks out, so... Shit. I know that game. I already knew that. Here, Pegasus Boots. Here we go. Ow. Well, I got hurt anyways. Uh, here's some deep water in here. What am, I to, what am I to do here? Ah, wait. If you recall what the owl said, like, just a few minutes ago or something, that it says, dive where torchlight beams do cross. When you see all these beams, they kind of intersect at a point here in the middle of the water. So, let's go do that. Right in the middle. Jellyfish. Specifically bloopers from, you guessed it, Mario. Yeah, they're actually called bloopers, huh? Crazy. I like how you can use the feather in the water to just go insanely fast and up at the same time. Like that. But only insanely... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, I'm on a bad streak today. This is my LP curse. I fall down holes. That's what happens. Goomba! I just pulled a Mario. I forgot you could do that. You can actually jump on top of them. And, uh, and do damage to them. Oh yeah, uh, you guys might want to know how that date went, uh, since the last time. Uh, well, long story short, it went pretty well. It didn't really go anywhere, but we haven't talked since. So maybe it really didn't go well. I don't really care. 
I've got other dates planned in the future, but whatever. Video games are more important. Of course they are. Why would you even question that? Did I get anything out of that? No. Hmm. I'm guessing that's probably where the boss key is, and I just keep getting hurt. Go away! Text? Text of death that I don't want to hear? Well, here we are, down to one health. Hopefully not gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, I think these guys up here shoot arrows at you, but I'm not really sure. Okay, there we go. Some There's a heart. You are dead. Mm, it's kind of annoying to switch to the power glove. They should have just binded it to, like, an R button. But then again, the Game Boy didn't really have an R button back then. kind of wish I could do that, though. Since I'm using a 360 controller and there's, like... <laughs> but you're not supposed to know that. Because there's unbound buttons. Yeah, I think we can probably make this jump if we use the Pegasus boots. I don't know. <laughs> Want to find out? Yes! Skills to pay the bills! And now I am like 10 rupees away from max rupees. Alright. Let's see if we have more skills to pay bills. No. Of course we don't. Awesome. Rock's Feather's so good. Slash, you are not gonna hurt me. <laughs> Definitely not. Alright, come at me. Kick your ass. I sure showed him, right guys? Alright. Huh, oh, I thought the rooms were gonna close by now. Who would've known? Well, here's a treasure chest. Uh, in the meantime, maybe it's a dungeon map or something important. <laughs> right? And a guardian acorn, you know, I might actually want to get that. Might, might need some extra tankiness in this dungeon. I was right, we got a dungeon map. Sweet. Alright, now I can see all the unexplored areas of the dungeon. Uh, hmm. Alright. Cool beans. And yes, I do say cool beans. I'm bringing, I'm bringing sexy back or something like that. I don't know what the proper term for, uh, for stuff like that is. I'm a nerd. Who cares? Oh, and here we go. That door's open now, so we can do this. Oh, here's where the bastard is. I hear the music playing already. That means he's in here. Yeah, you're gonna go down. You can't best me. This is one of my favorite bosses ever, because he's just such a little bastard, you know? You can't help but hate him, but you can't help but love him either. Because <laughs> he steals the one of the items in the dungeon, and he just he just runs away. He's kind of like Gilgamesh in, final, in the Final Fantasy series. He's, he, like, claims to be amazing and, and crap like that, but he really isn't. He's just, he's just another silly villain being silly. <laughs> Die, monster. I forgot to pick up that heart. Heart. Aww. Now we need to find that third room that he's in. I think you have to beat him four times in this dungeon. I'm not sure. Maybe. Ah, ah, ah. Don't want to get hit by the glowing balls of light. Balls. Things. Balls. Yay, we made it. Okay. I don't think that room's up there. Maybe it is. Just jump over these guys and you're good. So let's try going up here again and hopefully, hopefully we can get into that room. Alright, here we go. Now we're doing business. Now we're doing business. Yes. 
Alright, you're dead. <laughs> you don't mess with me. You might even be less amazing than Gilgamesh. I mean, at least you meant... Oh, now, now, now you've got sword abilities, huh? You think you're cooler than me. No! <laughs> oh, no! I found an opening in your plan. That's right. You're damn right you can't beat me. You, and you better get out of here. Now we just gotta find... Okay, see, the order of these rooms correspond to the number of tiles in here. Like, this one has three tiles, so we gotta find the one with four tiles, which is the fourth and final time we'll fight him, and maybe we'll even get that item that he stole from us. Who knows? But I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, because I'm a nice person. This is a spoiler-free walkthrough besides that one spoiler I gave, but I don't even remember what I said. It's bad when you don't remember what you say. That's bad habits, man. Bad LP habits. Nope. So many nopes. Hmm. Now where is that room? I remember it took me forever to find the fourth room at earlier stages in life. But I'm not exactly sure how long it took me or where it is or any of that. Alright, die. <laughs> just just go away. Just go. No one likes you. No one cares about you. Ah Okay, we're done here. Is there anything useful around here? No, there, wait, wait, there might be. No, I think that was the stairs that led me to that one room, but let's just make sure, you know. Yeah, that was the useless room that I didn't really care about. Damn, I think I'm stuck. Let's go down anyway, let's jump on this Goomba. Give him, oh. <laughs> they drop hearts instead of one-ups. It'd be funny if they drop one-ups. What's Link gonna do with a one-up, though, you know? Oh yeah, I guess we gotta uh, go do this here. Yeah. I don't have any keys either, so I'm kind of at a loss for what to do here. Definitely don't go there. Oh yeah, maybe it's down here somewhere. Ah! Oh, oh. Whew. That was close. Very, very close. Yeah, there we go. Just the little trick. Just jump and, and strike, but I didn't do the, exactly the best job there. Yeah, nothing in this room either. Can't remember for the life of me what. There's no chest in that room either, is there? Oh well. Is there like a, a room at the beginning here? Yeah, I think it might be this one to the left. There we go. Maybe it's this one. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now let's get that heart before we go on. <laughs> ah, nuts. Nuts. Nuts and Nutella. Nutella's good, though. I really like Nutella. It's a nice little chocolatey, buttery spread that you can just spread over a bagel and it just tastes really good. I know I'm just like salivating your glands right now. Here we go, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Alright. It's the final showdown. You can outlast me. That's what she said. You're no match for my spin attack. You are definitely no match for my spin attack. Bomberman, go! And I just realized I'm at max rupees. It's an upside down 666. Kind of ominous, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs> I defeated a guy that's terrible at fighting. And I got a hook shot! It's chain stretches long when you use it. I've got a lot of things that stretch long when I use it. You know, like, um... Uh, uh, 
my uh, trombone. Yeah, my trombone. It stretches long when I use it. Look at this thing. It's awesome. It's easily one of my favorite items in the game, and that's why this is my favorite dungeon in the game. The hookshot is so good. I mean, the feather's awesome, too. I really like the feather, but that's just because jumping is so fundamental that it's indispensable. Y you notice that I use it mostly throughout the game as my secondary with my sword, because I'm a jumping little s jumping samurai. I kick ass. It's just indispensable. You can't live without it. And there's a nice little chest over here that we can get, but thing that the hookshot does, not only does it hit enemies, but it can also pull you over distances like that. 200 rupees that are completely useless to me, I don't really care. And, oh, however will I get back? Well, it can pull you over that too. So, just so you know how that works. Yeah, no match for me. Not anymore. Oh yeah, and we can... We can go to that room over there while we're at it. The room with the chest that's down in the lower left corner. Oh yeah, and you can just use the hook shot now to just shoot it at those enemies. And it works perfectly. It's a great little distance weapon. It takes a little bit of practice. Nearly escaping death right there. Love that. I just love that. And here we go, here's a chest. You can just you can take their masks off and that's what they look that's what they look like without their masks. It's pretty awesome. And we have found a key. A very much needed key. Escaping death. It's fun. You should do it sometime. It can also pull out little bridges for you like that. That's always cool. And we're gonna use this key to get through here. And here's another boss of this dungeon. I kind of forget what to do. Oh yeah, you need a bow and arrow, don't you? Yeah, you need a bow and arrow to hit these guys. Yeah. You wait right until they open their eye and then you move. Because they are hard as shit to beat if you... I mean, they do so much damage to you with the... They do like one heart of damage with those little beams. So just kind, just kind of follow them, their their movement patterns, and just look at them. I think they only open their eyes when you look at them, and they and they kind of go forward sometimes if you get too close and try to bash you. You know. I wonder, can you just wait? Yeah. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Arrows are good too. They're really good in this game, I, and I don't think they were in Oracle of Seasons and Ages. And now we have a lot, nice little teleporter. And this teleporter takes us back to the beginning of the dungeon as always. And, alright, so we are almost all the way done with this dungeon, so I will see you guys in the next part. Have a good day.